Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm your boy Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Hear a lot about this Pride Fall stuff going on. And one thing I want to say and get out there right away is Pride will never fall. We won't let that happen. So, a bunch of people on 4chan, probably poll, thought it would be very lousy to dox or to uh, basically harass uh, homosexuals within Pride Month in order to make fun of them because Pride Month is basically cancelled because, let's face it, everything is cancelled this month, ladies and gentlemen, with the pandemic, state of emergency, now we got the George Floyd riots we got jeez what else we got? we got murder hornets we just got everything is 2020 ladies and gentlemen i don't think we need to worry about this one i really don't because this takes a lot of effort now the thing about 4chan and the people within it like to do things because it's lulzy they like to do it because it makes them laugh it makes them it gives them a good time um, um they're also a bunch of boys that like to sit around and just talk shit just talk about, hey, what are we going to do? I'm sure you've done it before. Uh, hung around with your homosexual friends, maybe, and said, you know what, that one really homophobic guy, I'm going to go up to him and give him a kiss and lick in his ear, or just lick his ear low. We all do this kind of stuff. We all sit around, and we all talk shit with one another about other groups. Let's face it, it happens. I don't think we're going to see a lot here, though. Now, the thing about uh, the incel group, the thing about the incel group, the thing about... Uh, 4chan is that they don't have a lot of gumption to get up and actually do anything unless it's very lulzy unless it's very lulzy doing things takes time doing things takes concentration doing things takes energy and if they're going to be zeroing in on the homosexual community particularly one particular homosexual uh, it's going to take away from their ability to eat Pocky, to look at uh, Lolly, and to uh, uh, worship Donald Trump and all that kind of stuff. I'm not saying I hate Donald Trump, but what I'm saying is that dumpster fire is freaking hilarious. It's very hilarious. So I don't see, I don't see uh, this happening. I don't see Pride Fall happening. I, I can't see Pride ever falling uh, for number one. It's here. Is here and it's going to be here for a long time and um, I don't uh, I haven't really heard a lot about anyone planning on doing anything and I spend way too much time on the internet I spend way too much time uh, with these individuals who are the chaotic type that would drag us back to the sinister quagmire in which we came from I've spent time with these hate groups and whatnot. If your docs get dropped, the worst thing that's going to happen is that you're going to get a SWAT team after you. And that's like completely different. That's completely different. So so you, you might be like, well, well, how could that happen? So your docs get dropped. If someone will drop your docs, then they might want to get a SWAT team called to you. Do you know how many SWAT teams are available right now? Do you have any idea how many SWAT teams are available right now in the United States especially with all of these riots going on? I don't even think the cops would take the call these days. The cops are too frickin' busy. I'm going to say it. I think that uh, Pride Fall is frickin' canceled, as it should be. Because really, this is one that I'm just like... I've seen 4chan go on some attacks, like Chanology, like, uh, like Project Dusty. But those actually at the end had something going for them. They had some nuance. All of the good raids that 4chan has been on has some nuance to it. It has a little bit of hate. But Pride Fall is all hate and no nuance. And I don't even see much lulls going on here. So if you're annoying, if you're really annoying, you might get targeted. But I think that's about it. Now if you're Docs get dropped. Ladies and gentlemen, I have dropped docs for people I don't like. And you know what happened to him? Nothing. Nothing. Except for one guy. Except for one guy. And the reason that this one guy had such a hard time when I dropped his docs was because a lot of people hated him and a lot of people were looking after this if you're joe bob jebediah if you're if you're uh mr regular homosexual streamer actually let me say a streamer who happens to be homosexual you know good good for you bud good for you but odds are unless people are after you and if your docs get dropped no one's going to be doing anything no one's going to be doing anything so 
So some of you, some of you out there, maybe you got the rats around you and they're ready to jump you as this ship sinks. But in other cases, that ship isn't sinking so the rats are in the hull and like, you know, whatever. Big deal. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think it's going to be as big a deal as everybody's making it. Um, I think everyone's worrying about it more than they should be. Um, because they're not going to be targeting just anyone. They're not going to be targeting just anyone, even if they do target someone and drop their docks, unless someone hates you, that has the tools to do something against you, don't worry about it. I w and I want to get a little bit farther into that. There's one known thing about hacker that goes back to the start. Hackers are the type of people that when they're on their computer, they are freaking terrifying. If you go to their house and if you look at them face to face and you call them on stuff, they're probably going to break down and cry. If you bring a cop to their place, oh, they are definitely not going to be the same person that you see on the computer. Now, there's something I learned in negotiation class with a world-class negotiator, is that if you're on the computer, a mouse will roar, especially if you can't see faces. A lot of these incel guys, you never see their face. That's part about being anonymous, right? But anyways... It's not going to be as big of a deal as you make it. Now, uh, uh, there are people in the homosexual community that feel like they're automatically targeted or that they're early targets. But I'm telling you, just uh, don't press it. Don't feed the trolls. Don't worry about it. Don't feed the trolls. And that means if they come in on your Twitch and they start hating on you, just ignore them. Just ignore them. If you think you got that kind of person this month in your Twitch, just ignore them. Don't exacerbate the situation. Don't try to make things worse. Just uh, be quiet. Don't make it a thing. Don't become a lulzy target, and you're going to be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, I've hung out with a bunch of these guys. Uh, I kind of, we can smell our own. We can smell our own. Uh, I don't think this is something to worry about as much as a lot of people think. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Net from Nest Tech, but like and subscribe if you like this stuff, if I've helped you out. And uh, take care of each other, folks. Don't be doxing each other. Don't be trying to make life harder for each other while we're in a pandemic in a state of emergency. Seriously, just chill your tits, all yous. Have a good one, folks. Take care.